Svetlana Gaivaronsky is a 29-year-old professional. She's a security researcher at Microsoft and a new wife to Sergei. But migraines, debilitating headaches that affect millions of people, slow her down. It's really hard to not be able to do anything, like to read, even to listen, because like sound hurts, um, light hurts. All you can do is to be on a bed. Svetlana's migraine started when she was six. Medications, vitamins, even a nerve stimulation device failed to stop the pain. But then Svetlana tried a new migraine drug in a clinical trial. At least for me, there was almost no side effects. You're doing the shot and you forget about it for a month. The new drug is called the CGRP antibody and targets a neurotransmitter in the brain that researchers think triggers migraines. It's the alarm that then makes you sense the pain. So when it increases, that's when you have the perception of the migraine pain, but also light sensitivity, sound sensitivity, nausea, vomiting, and inability to function. Natalia Moranova is Svetlana's doctor and director of the Headache Center at UW Medical Center Roosevelt. We want to turn off the alarm that is making you incapacitated, but we also want to get to the root of what caused the alarm in the first place. That's why Svetlana is making lifestyle changes through diet, exercise, and meditation to help reduce stress and maybe the need for medication. For me, it was like really a miracle when I understood that I can have my life back, that I can be productive, that I can enjoy the life. From the UW Medicine Newsroom in Seattle, this is Megan Clark.